All right, in this video, I have a comment to vibe with. There's a lot to read and figure out. A perspective of a human being. Oh, he's cooked. There's Oliver. There's a lot of shit I want to watch. There's a fucking uh, cleanup in Hearthstone I have to do. So a few chores here and there. I still have no idea what the fuck Zeddy is doing reviewing one card at a time. I think that's fucking illegal. Fucking Alan Walker just walked you to the Arctic. Thank you. That's where you belong. And I've heard uh, Sunag like really likes uh, torturing little children who have to go through the school. No summer for you. No phones for you. Learn English and math. Like, what the fuck, man? What a businessman, am I right? Like, he just found UK. The greatest business place in, in all of Skyrim. Where you have to pay ridiculous rents to survive. I mean, uh, there's there's no life in UK anymore. You gotta fucking leave. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shit place. It's a good fucking incentive. You see this shit? You see migration policies? All, all that fucking bad, nasty crap? I mean, oh my god. People just shooting themselves in the foot at this point. I don't know what's going on with this Monopoly system. That is, uh, you know, falling apart. But that only means it's gonna refresh somehow. You know, like, we're gonna invent new type of money. We're gonna adopt it. We're gonna figure things out, basically. About how to do shit. Maybe I will figure something out as well. Maybe I'll make some social media website that actually fucking helps people. Because obviously YouTube and TikTok doesn't help. Which is what this comment is about. Alright, I have received a comment. I gave uh, one... One cent for myself. As you know, I eat only one dollar a day, and now I'm overdrafting like two fucking dollars already. So it's more like one fifty a day. Because uh, I'm kind of feeling the challenge. Bro, I ate chips and I ate candies. It's uh, I can't live without that shit, bro. There has to be some... <laughs> Some compensation, man. But, you know, if I keep eating potatoes and uh, bread, it's going to be fine, guys. And milk. Milk is pretty cool. But before you drink milk, you might want to stare at the cow. Not because I'm fucking vegan or vegetarian and I don't like people killing cows. I'm just like, just, just look at it. You know, you decide for yourself <laughs> how you feel, what the vibe is. Maybe it uh, gives you a story of, like, what milk is. Maybe it whispers to your ear, this, this is what milk is. She eats a little bit of grass, fucking lays around, poops, smells really bad, but that's what you get, you know? That's what you get. Cow, cow meat actually is fucking terrible. I believe I ate it, and it's like, Nah, nah, that, that's the worst. Chickens, though, they run around, they have good meat, alright? Cool. Again, I'm, I have to mentally train to kick my doctor in the fucking face at this point. Hypothetically, of course, but he deserves it. And uh, we're gonna talk about two more things after I, you know, chill and watch my subscription shit. There's two more things. Two incredible discoveries that are going to protect me quite a bit. Mental illness is the opposite of being criminal. Crime hurts other people, while mental illness hurts yourself. With mental illness, you hurt yourself. Here you go. I have solved what mental illness is. Not just what Shizo is, but mental illness. And that fucking fits the puzzle pieces. Because Shizo, you hurt yourself through rejection. Through instant rejection without explanation. Of like, oh, I'm scared. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, okay, you're a little fucking baby. Who cannot operate independently, so you need help. That's how, you know, mental illness 
is detected and has to be treated. You need help. Someone has to help you. Don't you understand? How can I talk to you and tell you that you need fucking help? You know, like, it's, it's not in a mean way. Like, for real. You have to treat mental illness very seriously. But you have to even understand what it is. What the fuck it is when you hurt yourself. Am I hurting myself? Yes. Yes, I am. In the intention that my doctor's fucking evil and fucking hates me way too much than he should. You know, it's way not helpful for me mentally. So I'm combating by hurting myself, which is not mental illness. It's a combat. It's a fight of like he will he will have to fight a weaker version of me. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how he handles that shit. Let's see if he's a good fucking doctor. It's just, just a simple challenge for, uh, you know, for dudes dude to not fucking kick me around while he shouldn't fucking be doing that in a hospital. Kicking me around? Are you fucking kidding me? Little bitch. With words or whatever. With uh, words meant to be weapons sometimes. Because, like, the threats are fucking real, bro. The threat of, like, I will sniff you out, I will f find you out, and, like, uh, if you're not taking your medication, like, you don't have to worry about medication, you, don't, you just have to worry if I'm hurting myself. Is, that's the only fucking questions you have to ask. And you have to be able to provide help if you're a fucking authority person getting money and all the fucking resources to be able to help. I'm sorry, bro. None of that shit is happening. And yes, uh, this this comment reveals a few key details of uh, people's reaction to my shit. All right. By the way, we're still rocking five minutes. Most of the shit comes from uh, Mark Passio fans. And I am, uh, you know, enabling people to double check Mark Passio stuff, but. Uh, Oh my god. Yeah, there's a big problem with monopolies is that oh I like this person because I spent like I, I've invested my money into it. It's just like I like my bank because there's money that I own in there. It's like sure. I don't give a fuck about that. You're not gonna reason with me about that. Well, I have to hate on haters, that's just how it goes, bro. But yeah, people attach themselves way too much. And even like, even whatever they hate, they just look at that person. They stare at that person and it's like, no one, no one else matters. Fucking sanity machine. As much as he's being hated, they still, people still give a fuck about him and not me, right? No matter how much I would criticize anyone on this platform. What is it? The magical power of the face on the screen? This fucking skibbity toilet room. Versus NPCs. NPCs provide you with some random shit content. And you just uh, pick it up, put it down, forget about them forever. And there's skibbity toilets face showing up over and over again. No wonder he fucking talks about toilet. This guy. Until I get a thousand subscribers. My content is not free. You're not free to just hate me. You're actually not fucking free. To do whatever you would like. Just like you not wouldn't be free to attack a homeless person in the streets. Someone has to protect the fucking homeless person. That's the least they can give, you know? Look, watch over them. Ask, ask if they're alright, if they get attacked or whatever, right? For me, slow and steady wins the race, bro. I'm gaining subscribers. I, I'm gonna get there eventually. It takes five years. Well, fuck me, I guess. But, bro. He looks into my content and it's like, oh my god, gross. And I can't even type gross after, uh, you know. I decided this is, isn't your first language, guys. Hmm. Thank you. Me, I decided the same thing. I think fart is your first language, you know? That one? 
So here's here's uh, some insults I have came up with recently. In that bitch. <laughs> I think my Mark Passy was a loser, uh, even in the like podcasting area. Uh, but it's simply because I can carry my own weight. It's not that difficult to be like smart. And you have to skip a fucking whole hour, one hour of every single Mark video. You just gotta skip that shit. It's garbage, bro. So uh, it's not free to watch anymore even though he's like making money out of this shit but my shit is higher quality free to watch and apparently i'm free to be hated you know that fucking sucks man getting to that 1000 subscriber mark is still gonna be like absolute madness so what is that second interesting insight well women are very difficult to understand because they probably don't work for you. They work against you right now. They don't give a fuck about you because you're not relevant. In society, they might be chasing chasing for that, like, pot of gold, basically. Blocking around the pot of gold and trying to, like, take a bite out of it. Because the attention floods in one location. It's all monopolized. But monopolies are going to kind of falter and fall apart at least for a certain amount of time and that certain amount of time opens up ability to actually receive care from all kinds of women bro because they're gonna just like give up they can't fucking get here anymore there's nothing in the middle of society there's no more stuff to take there's no more free things you must understand women have no skills and they only take free things they can't actually make any money they just take money from other people. They're like literal, literal thieves at this point. Like, what are women that are doing? What kind of fucking jobs, bro? What occupations? They're just assistants at best, bro. They're just there sitting doing nothing, basically. At best. In a hospital, there's more women than... Or in schools. They just fucking make you read stuff. And ask how how you did that. Hmm. That's not skill. It's garbage, bro. Make you sing little songy songs. Oh wow. Not skill, bro. I'm not impressed. This is just like they can move people around, they can take free stuff. They definitely work under the government because that's where all the free stuff is. My mom takes free stuff. I don't I don't understand uh, what women do these days, but like, yeah. At some point, the free stuff is gonna, like, evaporate, and they will need men to, like, take care of them, and, like, okay, anything works. It's, uh, it's empty, basically. Anything works, so they're gonna flock into the edge of society of, like, okay, you guys can, can take care of me, please. Mm -hmm. The free stuff will be outside in a circle of where... The survivor islands exist, including mine. I'm I'm alone. I'm just surviving. But because I'm surviving, that's pretty fucking good. You know, that's better than, than being dead. So they will, you know, actually acknowledge that I'm surviving successfully. That they can't just take free things and survive anymore that easily. They need a man. For, for the first time in forever, they will be like, oh shit, need, I need a man now. Wow. It's going to happen very soon, my friends. Apparently, the clock still haven't reached the transition. And the transition happens and it flushes the fucking capitalism nonsense of monopolies just taking over everything. Monopolies right now are desperate. And they show their faces, their evil uh, forms. So now we, uh, we can just eat them up and destroy the shit out of them. Because we're tired. Of them having just too much power. That's the whole problem. It doesn't matter whether, our, whether they are evil now or not. They are now. And we have to take back our powers. 
so they can't just crush us and make us disappear. That would be fucking bullshit. No one wants to die. So we have to fight as much as we can to survive against these monopolies. The, the further they go, as much as they want to expand and put pressure on people, I mean, it's good for us because women are going to go to these places where there, where there's no pressure. Now, so we have to like very much carefully analyze what's going on here. If this matrix works exactly as I described. Because again, I, I feel far away from society, but I'm surviving. I'm hanging on. I get enough resources. I get enough free stuff for free. And maybe I'm going to be a nice influencer too. That helps, uh, you know, all the, all the men. So there's going to be a lot of push even beyond this point. Most importantly, you must understand like what's going on in 2023 is gonna ripple for like four more years. It's gonna take some time for people to like sink in into all the downfalls that have been happening. All the, all the changes that happen in their lives, it will take time to sink in. They will fall through some floors before they reach to you, you know, they might be hanging on to their own fucking uh, worthless crap that they have collected that's on fire right now. But uh, after it's done, they will fall through and then you will be able to visibly see them and maybe uh, listen to what they have to say. All that shit. You have to be prepared for that shit. You have to put a pot before it rains gold especially you know put a, put a pot in there special locations so uh yeah we'll see what what happens i know in this period i am extremely powerful extremely prepared to face idiots who wanted to reject me this whole time for free things hmm if women don't care, they get nothing. All right. So right now they're just in a thieve, thievery mode. They get things because they steal is what they're doing. And you have to pay attention to that as well. And uh, all this shit, like at some point, I'm like, I'm tired of Tinder. Like it's useless. It's pointless. Like women think they're like above everyone else and they don't have to even fucking talk to anyone and do anything. Like, what the fuck? What are you trying to achieve? What's going on? They can't even reply, bro. Like, I don't want to exist. I don't want to show my face anymore. Like, it's over. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve my my care. Because you don't care. It's just like, it's this very simple equation, bro. Logically, it's not flawed in any way. Besides the fact that, you know, I could, you know, work on myself more. But, bro... This, uh, this shit can be done by other people, too. You know? They have lived life. They know what their routines are. I can just snatch them and, and do that. But I would like some attention. It doesn't matter how I look. I would like some attention. I would be glad. Like, you don't want a perfect person because a perfect person doesn't fucking need you. You know? The only thing you can do is steal from them. That's the only, that's what women are trying to do. Like, they're looking for that perfect, perfect people. And they have a perfect strategy. But we'll see. We'll deal with them. They are, uh, there's plenty of evil in that fucking category of the other side. And uh, we'll have to deal with that shit more and more often, my friends. I, I didn't thought I would see a TikTok that describes, oh, tw after 22, like, women have a very hard time dating. Dating be hard for women. Well, I'm like, what? Nah, bro. Feeling be hard for women after 22. I'm sorry, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no way. There's nobody dating. Nobody. I'm sorry. Like, if my, if my friends dated, I wouldn't talk to just them? Like, what the fuck? 
The, the girlfriend is like in the fucking basement, bro. Tied up. It's like, I, I have a girlfriend in the basement, tied up. She can't talk to you right now. Like, bro. What, you gonna marry her too? Mm -hmm. And I still don't know who that fucking is. It's like, that is unbelievable. There's no pride in the relationship they're creating. It's nothing. They got nothing, bro. It's all trash. I try to talk to... That's why I'm, I'm doing it. And they fucking think I'm, I'm the thief. You know? Of like, I'm trying to steal their girl. By talking to them. Like... Yeah, take the fucking challenge if you think I'm a thief. But like... I just want to see what you're hanging out with because you... I'm your fucking friend. I also want to hang out, you know? That's my competition, for fuck's sake. These people are fucking morons when it comes to logic. And the biggest fucking problem, I don't know how to tell them that. You know? Because they also put up a wall of like, oh shit, I don't want to know that I'm a moron. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Then you're a fucking baby now. Not even a moron, a baby that needs diaper change. You would want to let me talk to your fucking girlfriend to see if she's nice to me too. Or she's just fucking a fool. You're being fooled, basically. But if you don't want it, if you don't want my service of being a, just a normal person across the internet who has uh, no threat. The only fucking threat is Ariana Grande. Whoever, whoever her boyfriend is, I'm sorry, bro. You lost. You lost this game. It's impossible for you to win this game. All right. I don't know. I don't know which basement you choose, but you're gonna have to live there for the rest of your life. All right. If I if I see you, hmm, in uh, in ten meter radius, like it's over. I've never met anyone as strong as me because my survival skills are explicit. It's like insane. Surviving all the rejection. Like people think, oh, like you can survive rejection. It's like, blah, blah, blah. well, you can survive by not caring. I don't know how that works because I care. Mm -hmm. I care to figure out how it works. Of like, I don't want to like break my own heart in order to like, so, so let me get this straight. Like if you, if you want to go through rejection, you have to reject yourself? Uh, <laughs> well, that's that's not going through rejection, just, just cheating on yourself first, so you can, you know, get experiences. Thief around, basically. For things that uh, people don't really want to give. And it's just like, well, it's, it's not free anyway, so you have to break yourself to get it. It's probably worth it for some people, not me. I want to see what you can do, you know, tell your story on YouTube. Thank you very much. Hands shaken. So let's see what the comment has to say. I'm not in a good mood, but uh, it's it's nice that someone actually uh, cared whatever way that is. I know that you don't know where to turn for help, but please talk to that old teacher of yours. Um, no... That's not gonna happen. We're not connected. I'm not connecting to either teacher in any way. Uh, I know there's a farmer teacher, which is very good. Probably can talk, probably can give me a job, and we can hang out and do, do things. And I can work for profit. Uh, and uh, get a living space of some kind, if uh, things are really bad. But that's not my life, that's not what I need. What I need is completely different, like, everyone needs different type of help. My help is just like the, the sanity type of thing. Potentially. Just sanity. Or to escape the country if the country wants to fucking eat me alive. That does not... Uh, the teachers will not help me. Unfortunately, that fucking sucks. She's ref he's referring to she. That fucking sucks because uh, no. You must understand, school is a fucking fortress. 
and not everyone can just come in uninvited it's not that easy my friends you know you don't want creeps to run around school do you and uh anyone as ugly as me would uh, be considered a creep i'm just saying like i don't i don't belong there my friends there's no way i can just knock the door and get in so that fucking sucks youtube tiktok these are not places where help is but you know i'm proving that point myself through work through taking action i'm proving you know you've learned but you've learned because of me because i i did it i put a lot of work in into this place and i've proven that people don't care an algorithm makes you invisible so uh i'm just a ghost and people don't are not even scared of ghosts basically you know they don't just see me and be like oh my god what is this this guy uploaded a thousand videos and nobody cares that's crazy he missed one thousand of his shots it's just a podcast but like someone should be like interested all the time no someone should be investigating and again, I have been approached by a fucking 2,000 K subscribed person. That's pretty crazy, right? He just looked into my profile, said, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's a, that's a normal person. Uh, while he's like reviewing trash people and like normal people. He decided, well, maybe, maybe someone likes it. I mean, like, oh, oops. And I'm like, well, that's, that's pretty nice. That's a very nice interaction from a person with... 2,000, 200,000 subscribers, bro. You know. So, I can squeeze YouTube to some extent. I can get something out of it. And I'm listening. I am allowing guests come in because that shit can happen when you realize, like, you're being watched. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. You will not find friends here. Yay! Thank you for not being my friends. Wow. That is so dramatic, isn't it? It's like it's it's your opportunity, it's your you know, responsibility to try and be a friend. Is it a bad skill to learn? I don't know, bro, but people don't give a fuck about that. Even this, I know it's not friendly, it's not gonna just it's just gonna disappear. It's just NPC uh pooped some uh, sanity and went uh, its own way the myth is that says if you work hard you should get attention and become famous um it is a very weird matrix but hard work is half the fucking work the other work is uh fucking setting everything on fire so uh knowing how to like make your content appealing to or at least ridiculous ridiculous to the audience we're like what the fuck's going on type of thing happens so uh yeah i mean it takes a little bit more skill to do that but i have done it I know what it is. An Ignorito channel, like, I exploded a couple times because it's controversial and stuff. You know. People have watched my shit. Because they clicked and it's a short video and it's a very easy commitment to make. So three to... Three to six minutes is the decent commitment to the point where people understand the video just enough to make a comment as well to feel like they they belong in the comment section if i make a video one hour long they don't feel like they belong in a comment section either all right but i have to ignore because it say that i'm ignoring them because like this is uh too unstable i can't actually control this very weird and people are obviously hostile most of the time and they don't fucking like new people 
Anything that's new, people hate. Just by definition. New things, terrible. Unless they're impressed from the very beginning. So you have to understand. Hard work is hard is 50% of the work because you have to have self-presentation. You have to have steps. You have to have tutorial. You have to have a whole playlist dedicated to showing people who you are in every step of the way and leading them towards giving them enough clues in short form, like five minutes videos in short forms. You give them enough information to make them satisfied and they feel that they are making progress of some kind. And once you get them addicted to your content, once you get enough people addicted to your content, that's what famous means. You know, you have slowly entangled people. But to unlock that skill to become famous on your own as one person, do you know how much fucking skill that requires? That's insanity, bro. And I'm still aiming for that shit. To some extent, because probably I, I have nothing better to do. But to learn that skill. To be famous by myself. One person. You think you're by yourself, but in America, you, you're, you're never alone. You're always being watched. You're always socializing. It's just hard to escape being alone. Like, someone's always watching, bro. In Europe, you're alone by default. And you have to somehow craft your reality, basically. Craft your self-esteem. Build everything from scratch. And everything sort of gets exponentially crazier as you do it. As you, you know, do things for yourself. Every single relationship is exponential. On how, you, how well you do it. Is it a 10% relationship or a fucking 80% relationship? It's a big difference. It's not 8 times difference. It's fucking 8,000 times difference. If not more. Of uh, how good it is. How good something is. So yeah, I, I worked hard. And I know that a very difficult part of myself is to introduce myself properly so people understand and they're like wow okay i want to follow this guy because if i just give you points of like this is the reason this, as the reason like, is it's not gonna work very well because it gets boring i have to keep entertaining people too there's a lot of problems to solve at the same time juggle a lot of balls and juggling while making videos man that's fucking crazy but that's required if you want to keep up with everyone else. Uh, now, there's plenty of time to figure shit out. Plenty of time. People are even retiring. So, uh, you know, the spotlight shines brighter. I should make more MatPat videos. I should make more videos about all, all kinds of things. It's just right now... I'm doing me. I'm doing what I like. And I want every single person to contribute if they can. So the title itself was asking of like, well, you with your comments, you can help. With positivity, you can help. That was on the fucking title. So of course, of course I squeezed one comment. Like, people that are so fucking predictable, it brain fogs me of like shit this is too much man it's too easy but at the same time what i have squeezed out is not that much but at the same time i can make a whole fucking hour video reacting to this mess right it's not how it works you're doing something massive starving yourself but the algorithm not care It's also not just the algorithm, but amount of subscribers I've collected and the relationship we have between each other. 
that we have not established yet. Obviously, this is the the coolest comment I've ever received. So we squeezed pretty fucking hard on this one. This one can be framed. Please, YouTube, don't fucking... Okay, it's right here. YouTube's not being a little bitch, but like, that was scary. We can frame it. That's pretty cool. I've received the first penny of the fucking internet. Internet penny, bro. You're doing something massive. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, if I don't have many subscribers, people who take care of me, they don't know what to do. They're just like, uh, you know. It's the ick <laughs> moment, of course. While you did it, you gave me watch time, which also YouTube doesn't care about. <sighs> so in a way, I'm like actually kind of confused of what I should be fighting for. Besides getting a bunch of views, because that means something. But even that's very difficult. Even that's not a good enough filter. So, uh... Only if you hit, like, a 10k subs after, like, five years of working on YouTube, maybe you get some friends squeezed out of that fucking box. It's so funny, but Jackson's actually starting drama again when there's springtime coming with, uh, Azzyland. And I know it's drama. I know it's a continuation of his stupid fucking nonsense it's almost impossible to see flaws in sniper or azuland content especially azuland i'm like shit bro i brought up azuland because like shit jack's film should have been impressed but she he's just criticizing her too which is saw something i wouldn't fucking recommend holy shit man Oh, you can improve your content. Azalyn hasn't been uploading for like six months now. What content is she supposed to, you know, improve upon? You gotta be fucking kidding me. This Jackson is fucking nuts, bro. He's a fucking nutcracker. Oh my goodness. Coco. So yeah, Jackson's drama continues and fucking pisses me off. But so is Mr. B's drama, The Ring of Fire. Which I can consider drama worthy of a title of drama. So now we're going to be juggling four dramas at once. And I might need a new channel for that too. Because, uh, you know, that's a different style of content and I want to like master it. How does it look like? So I have made this uh, new channel that still nobody knows about, I believe. One second. Shit, I shouldn't be switching. Yeah, I don't think anyone has gave a single view. No views. But this is where it begins. I want to know what shape of drama is. What will happen if I make drama videos over and over again? How would it look like? In the end, what comes out of my system? So what else do we have? Serving yourself entertainment is about escapism. Well, fuck you, basically, is what I'm saying. There's no fucking way about escapism, bro. Cool. Some people want to escape. Some people need to educate. Some people have graduated. You know, and have no idea what to do. But you can start by making friends. This is a good place to start. Yeah, this is amazing common. Like, it's it's crazy. So I got what I wanted. I don't, I don't know, bro. People want to forget that their they their jobs suck. And rent is getting higher. And Russia has nukes. And people are starving. Well, uh, mm -mm. I mean, forget all you want, but like you have to fight too, right? 
No? The, someone has to knock on your door and remind you that you have to fight. That there is a way to improve your fucking life very quickly. Escapism sometimes means you fucking escape into a forest and just starve yourself to death anyways. You will be manifesting the stupid things you're trying to escape. You're going to be paying forest rent. And you're going to be e eating forest dirt. And all of a sudden, like, it's not going to be fucking that, that simple. You will be going through a very similar situation as I am. If you don't escape rent. And, uh, properly. But properly escape, alright? Escapism is just denying problems. I'm sorry, that's just not what YouTube is supposed to do. But if YouTube wants to do that, we'll take a record of that. We'll definitely take notes. This is definitely interesting. This is definitely, you know, part of capitalism to not care about people of like, whatever. People work in, in uh, special locations. They slave around and we should just uh, look blind, blindly to it. Like, wh who cares? Like, we're better off. We're, we're capitalism. We're all happier because uh, people are hurting themselves for the sake of money. But it's a little bit different type of capitalism when it hurts people and takes their money too. Now it's a different type of capitalism. It doesn't matter how much you work, rent will steal all that money. You know. So all of a sudden, like, oh. And uh, who, who knows if Russia has nukes? Russia just is very scary. That's all we know. Bro, I have nukes. With, with the amount of vast knowledge that I have, I have nukes. I can sit next to Putin and Putin and fucking pee himself. Like, where, where's my Putin interview? I need one. I want to see him pee himself. Out of excitement of like getting fucking nuked. Not only I have nukes, I will make him excited. To just uh, blow his mind. He'll be sleeping like a baby. In death. Like, I'm... Sure. Job suck. Uh, funny enough, I don't... I don't know. But job market definitely sucks. There's, uh, there's a lot of things that suck. And we shouldn't be escapism about it. We shouldn't seek entertainment about it. Those are just for NPCs who have uh, nothing to contribute. Just to, you know, numb their pain and move on with their lives. That's all they want. They don't want to interact. They don't want friendship. They just, you know, want to keep surviving in the most fucking pathetic way imaginable. I don't need that shit. You're doing something very brave. I don't think it's very brave. It's just what I do. Uh, but even starting with myself, that's not brave at all. That's fucking bullshit. But putting yourself out there like this, but while it's brave, it will not help you. Yeah, I think it helped. I think it worked out perfectly. I think I got the results I wanted. It is not brave what I'm doing. What brave is, is to knock on people's doors and tell me tell my story to them to as many people as i can just tell them my story that would be brave this shit even i don't have guts for all right i have guts to hurt myself that's very simple to sort of like okay maybe i do have mental illness here you go doctor can you spot the difference but to approach talk to your teacher your mom People who care about you, to some extent. Again, my mom is my roommate, first of all. And the teacher is trapped caring about all the fucking careless little children. And I can just pick up the crumbs as an experience, to stitch an experience of like five minutes uh, talk, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a big deal to go into school and to have the fucking power to do so. 
but I need backup. You know, I already need help to receive more help. You can see how this shit snowballs out of control. Once I have a, a friend, you know, by my side, we come visit school again. All right, we do it. We talk to a bunch of teachers. We like, I don't want to do this alone. It's kind of like counterproductive to do this alone, to go into the school like a fucking creep. Uh, without a friend who also have been going to the same school. Could be a fucking girlfriend, for fuck's sake. Anything. But I need backup. I want to look less of a fucking weirdo. I need backup on... Am I looking okay? Am I looking suspicious in any way, bro? Am I looking scary? Like, I need some backup before I can actually approach a teacher. That's difficult, man. It's not... It's not a given that I can do it. You know, I have to do it properly. For things to work, I have to do it properly. And if I want to talk to my mom, she has to be able to understand what we're talking about. She's just through me. She's just helping me survive like an NPC. She's doing NPC things successfully. But besides that, level two nowhere to be found she doesn't have enough brain cells to invest into level two uh helping other people type of thing she can't do that shit she can only help help herself that's all she knows everything else is fucking nightmare to her basically so i can't talk to her it's not gonna go anywhere i've already tried to establish some kind of thing and this is what i figured out like she's just npc next to me but i have to love her and pretend that she's actually higher level than the rest of the people because she's with me so like she belongs in my fucking kingdom and that's good enough all right she already plays a pretty big role that i can't people who care about you well i tried to reach out and figure out if anyone cares and uh, clearly not you know because the equation is very simple if they don't watch my videos in any way if they don't sense anything that's going on, they don't, don't check, don't fucking click a few buttons. I'm sorry, I can't update you on anything. Yes, I can do the fucking Instagram thing. And if you follow me on Instagram, maybe I can update you on something. It's gonna pop in your feed. Who knows, like, we're not organized enough as a society to look after each other online. Which is super fucking easy. But we're not even doing that, because NPC is going to do the NPC things. We have to train them. You have to force them, basically. Force them to care. All the time. It, we have to do it all the fucking time. Force people to care. Just a little bit is going to make a huge difference. Even like TikTok forced people to care for that fucking special moment to upload something. To upload something out them themselves. To introduce themselves. To try out to be like famous to some extent to see how it feels like that shit made people you know contribute to the platform successfully they were forced to care because it was very interesting to do so and now it's gone now tiktok is kind of solidifying and has their own influencers that show up over and over again but a lot of people are actually encouraged to be like okay i I have something to talk about. Let's see what people think. People who are not just looking for fame because that shit is closed, but people who are looking for genuine conversations, they go to TikTok, they open up about an idea or a problem that they're having or a problem that they solved and see what people are going to say. Like it's a very powerful platform that forces people to care. This is very, very good. But we need more than that. That's what makes TikTok so fucking powerful. It's very easy to care because you're just scrolling through content and finding what you like. And uh, most importantly, you know, you just fucking type in a comment on a video that doesn't have a lot of comments. I gain success out of that. You know, people notice when I do that shit. And I'm like, whoa, that's cool. I like caring. And when caring fucking rewards you, you do more. You actually contribute more to the platform. 
and it's a successful platform that means it's really cool my problem is not a, a death sentence unless they want it to be i don't know i don't think it is i think the vibe is kind of clear, clearing up like all the black clouds are clearing up and i'm not in immediate danger i'm just dealing with an asshole who wants to scare the shit out of me so he feels safe you know about his job about keeping his job or keeping himself alive or keeping himself out of harm except that's no longer going to be the case because you know definitely blacklisted until further notice just like everyone who gives me a fucking side eye view like every npc who steps on my on my feet well, we're gonna have to talk the first people that i will force to care are these people that i've already interacted with that they know me they don't know me they saw my face they will be forced to care it's just that simple you know like now you have to apologize you did bad things to me i don't i didn't like it now you do something fucking i like and it's gonna be very easy for you don't worry about it you know it's a very simple apology moments boohoo but this is what you collect oh in your life you you collect kind of like hardships hardships that you have to carry you have to carry the fucking cross like jesus to be able to resurrect yourself to be able to live a normal life so jesus technically died but he actually lives on you know as a normal person who's way better than jesus because jesus fucking sucks bro but whoever he became doesn't suck all right it's something else it's something better it's something that uh sets the timer to zero it's something that just goes on into the future to all generations something that you cannot describe in a fucking bible anymore Re jesus resurrected and disappeared ingrained himself in the rest of human history but that's what it means to carry your cross like it it gets really heavy and everyone's contributing to it no one is helpful enough to you no one wants to fucking help they're just co compiling problems onto you and you have to carry that shit until the salvation of like okay all right so i'm kind of like with this starvation like i'm hanging on the cross of like well let's hang out guys and there's a whole year ahead of us because uh when i hit 30 then then we're talking then we're talking apologies then we're talking progress i believe but we'll see right this is again very powerful comments that just sets up a, a whole discussion putting yourself out there blah, blah, blah. talk with these people stop trying to prove yourself to a, a massive faceless corporate machine that is that is interesting thing to say of course but it's just like you know you have insulted youtube for me thank you very much you have made a very elaborate insult to youtube who doesn't like being called faceless corporate machine who wants to be like attractive to people and stuff you know because we have monies we can give monies right well uh for what exactly you give monies you know we we can't really that easily figure out for what you're giving monies for you just like you have to try and work very hard and like accumulate things and for some people it works for some people it doesn't that's cool that's not exactly what i'm chasing i'm not chasing money on youtube that fucking sucks it would be nice it would be impressive to a lot of people i would be able to flex of like well i made it i made it i i, ha I get something out of youtube now that's cool i would love that shit who wouldn't uh, love free things for what they do but what i want is to reach people and to interact with people and uh youtube always proving itself to not be good enough but just good enough for me to like 
yeah, I appreciate I can at least upload infinite amount of videos and not worry about it. You know. It is massive and faceless. And that's why I'm trying to be the face of the, the corporate machine of like, hey guys, I'm still happy no matter how many times they kick me in the face. I'm still like happy and I'm not an NPC who just does the same thing over and over again. Yes, it's just commentary over and over again. But commentary is the most fucking versatile thing ever. Anything can happen. In my like you you can't predict this shit at all. This is not a game anymore where you can sort of predict whether I'm going to going to win or lose, which is what might be the most important part of the video, right? You kind of predict oh, this guy is going to run away from this guy. You're going to beat this final boss. You're going to pick up these items. Oh, wow, these items. Like, this is still a lot of escapism going on. But with uh, commentary, it's kind of like deep. With sanity content, it's super deep. It's a human experience. So uh, if I can do it on YouTube without, like, losing my sanity, that's pretty good. I actually improved. I, I stepped forward. If I squeezed YouTube very hard and I, I got this impressive comment this is how much effort it takes to get a comment like this it's crazy bro but we did it we made an achievement bro does not care about you suffering for youtube's sake will not make it care by the way this was two weeks ago so uh, a little bit stale but here we are so yeah, the, the escapism, we have uh, defined it as a uh, mental illness. I can't even type it. Okay, that's, that's better. People are stupid enough to choose escapism over facing reality and facing the responsibilities and all that shit. They try to escape, but at some point, escape will not be provided will not be possible for them they will have to suck it up and start apologizing to people maybe me included but like fucking hell who am i supposed to apologize to right who is that fucking person that deserves it you know they're probably already dead i have to bow to no one i'm the earth person I am just to everyone. So I'm not bowing down to anyone. But as the year of the purge goes down, people will have to suck it up. All the women will have to come back home and do normal things to get, you know, not so free things anymore. They have to do chores. They have to care. They have to connect the dots. They have experiences in uh, relationships that have been broken, but they have to reconnect what, whatever they have. Have to work with scraps, whatever you have. And my survival abilities are going to be more and more needed to other people. Because surviving, no matter where it is, in a fucking spaceship or in a desert, uh, every time the environment is different, but, you know... So are the survival skills are different and they're very unique. Surviving Europe and many other places. As long as I get to connect with other people across the world and learn and teach everyone about their stories, then we can make a pretty good survival guide at very least. And maybe we're going to hit that fucking 1000 this year. That's uh, start giving me profits. An ability to survive even better, you know. Because the moment someone smells the dollar, they want to contribute. They want a, a part of this, of this job, because it's now defined, I would imagine. I'll be able to brag successfully. See you guys next time. We definitely got a pretty good comments.